Now for the backhand volley. Let's first find our balance point. Put the tapping drill in. Keep your feet moving around. Get a little too close. Get a little too far away. You'll find it sooner than later. But a little clue will be your foot will be pretty much around your crossbar right here. Your hand will be pretty much around the crossbar right here. If your hand is a little too far from your foot, you're going to feel it. After you've established it, we'll go to step two and reinforce it. Now, everybody, let's practice finding your balance point for your volley, and then we will reinforce it for your match play. One extra tip, when you're finding your balance point, if your eye goes forward, you're going to feel it imbalance. Leave your eye back in here. As it comes toward you, just leave it there. You'll find your balance point. As soon as your eye moves forward, that changes your internal balance system. Train your eye back here for your balance. Okay, go to work. Now that you've reinforced your volley, let's strengthen it a little bit more before you go to the match play. And again, make it feel as close to reality as possible so you can take this feeling to the courts and back and forth, you will eventually have yourself your new volley. Okay, the volley drill. First and foremost, you've got your circle. Make sure when you make your volley, you'll notice that my feet are going to be moving. If I stop before I make my contact, there will be a little change in your balance. So now I can get this volley moving where I can go way out here. And as long as my hands stay in front of me, I can now get a much wider range of movement. So now I put the same rhythm in. Volley, move, look. Volley, move, look. Volley, move, look. Volley, move, look. And if you come in and do volley, look, you'll feel it. If you start to come in and you pull your racket back outside the circle, you will feel that. Don't trust anything we say. Trust what you feel. Do the exercise. As soon as you can get to do 15 of these in a row, this easily, you're ready to go to the courts. Okay, what about the underspin? How do you make sure you're getting underspin? Actually, the entire system builds it in automatically for you. Just watch the ball carefully. All you have to do is strike it. The spin is already built into your stroke. Do not add it, do not subtract it, it's already into it. So there's your underspin, your footwork, and your stroke. You got your eye, your footwork, and your stroke, and the underspin is already in your system. If you add it, you will probably add too much. The spin will be in your stroke. Now you can go start practicing. So now we've finished on the volleys. But let's suppose you want to work on the high volley. Well, just find a little table in your house or a little cart. Set your eye coach up top. And then begin the same one, two, three system. And now you get the idea of your high volleys. And you can move over here, work on this shot, and build your eye back behind the ball. So you're not looking over the net. Then you get the feel of this high volley. Then you look over. The biggest mistake generally on the high volley is when to look over. We're so excited, we want to look over. Do this drill 15 in a row where you keep your eye right behind the ball, build it in, then look over, finish your stroke, then look over, finish your stroke, then look over, finish your stroke. 15 times, four, five, six times a month should take care of your high volleys and keep you on balance with your eye. Okay, you've now just finished the physical part of the game memorizing the skills, memorizing what your eye should be doing so you can coordinate all three units, your eye, your footwork, and your strokes to get yourself to the net. The mental component is much more complicated, but use this small tip for now to get yourself into match play mode. Whenever you see where you're going to go, only think get to your position and never think where you're going to hit it or how you're going to hit it. Leave your thought on just getting to position. This will allow your eye to be able to track the ball get you in position, and eliminate distractions so that you can be on balance much better at contact. Forehand-backhand combination drill is a great way to tie this all together. Here's how it looks like. Now you can work on your footwork, your stroke, and your eye. You can learn to get the feel of all of the movements, how to get your grip changed, all the different movements, but the most important is look what my eye is doing now. Now I built it in. I now can get the feeling of when to look over. I've got the whole rhythm of the volley movement. I know where to go. And this is a great warm-up exercise if you happen to go to a tournament or you want to work out in your living room.
Want guaranteed improvement on your volley? Do your homework.